Well, like any good car project, things have gotten quite carried away on my C63 AMG. So let's get right into the footage of how we've gotten to this point right now where the guys at Mancuso's Auto Art in Glenview, Illinois are about to lay down a sweet paint job. The goal at the body shop was kind of a budget refresh and everything was done a la carte, meaning I told them how far I wanted to go on each step of the way, understanding that this is a car with a rebuilt title. My main focus was to repair the cracked and damaged parts, realign panels, and focus on a very high quality paint job. So Ted at Mancuso's started on the previously damaged and previously repaired left rear quarter panel. The previous body shop didn't do a good job of pushing the quarter panel out far enough and it wouldn't line up with the tail light. He sanded the area down and manipulated the metal back into place by using a finishing and pick hammer among other tools. Although we only see a few seconds, Ted worked at this for about a day to make sure the body line was correct, which you guys are going to see at the end of the video. Once satisfied, he applied filler in the proper areas, smoothed it out, let it dry, and then sanded it away. After that, a top coat was applied and sanded smooth so the primer would adhere properly before painting. The goal was to use as little filler as possible, so although it looks like a lot was applied, most of this was sanded off. Next was sanding down some bad parking job nicks in the rear bumper and then using a light skim coat to make it perfect again. This bumper wasn't horrible, but I thought that having two fresh bumpers would look nice, and this was definitely a while you're in there type of repair. If you remember in the last video, there was a small crack in the hood, so it was sanded down, filled, and sanded again, and I chose this route because it was pretty minor and an OEM hood for this car is very expensive. The left side skirt on the C63 was next and had a crack due to someone not lifting the car properly. Ted sanded the crack and then used a special filler for plastic to repair the crack and then it was all sanded away to perfection. The front bumper was next and they performed a cool modification that I'll explain and you guys are going to see up close in a minute but basically Ted was able to delete the side markers and turn this into a Euro spec bumper. Plastic was used from another bumper and it turned out great. After this, a couple of bumper tabs were repaired and all the little chips and spider webbing in the bumper were fixed up. With all the plastic parts looking new again, they were all sealed up and ready for the paint booth. All right, so obviously we have a lot going on with the C63 AMG. And if you guys haven't seen the first video that I made with this car, I'll link it in the video description box down below. And I highly recommend you check it out because in that video, Ted took the front and rear bumpers off, the headlights and the taillights, and we uncovered some really shoddy paint and bodywork. Uh, which is exactly what we're gonna be fixing in this video. These guys did a bang up job on the fender and door on my E55 AMG, so I thought what better place to have my C63 corrected and done right. Uh, so let me just start off by showing you where the primary damage was. Uh, and you guys saw this being repaired in the time lapse, and that was the left rear quarter. So it was hit in this quarter, and the previous body shop did not do a good job at all uh, with this line here in the quarter panel and with pushing the metal out so it would line up with the taillight. So it looked like the taillight was sunken in uh, and Ted had to put a lot of time and a lot of effort into manipulating this metal back out and using filler in the proper places uh, so that the body lines with the taillight look factory. Uh, he also removed and installed the rear bumper a bunch of times, messed around with Fitman there so that lines up. We had a massive gap uh, where the bumper met with the quarter right here. Uh, and then something else that you guys saw in the time lapse, which I'm super excited about, uh, is the deletion of the gaudy orange marker light on the US spec bumpers that sits right here. And it looks like this on the car. A lot of you guys had commented in the videos that the Euro spec front bumper looks much cleaner, much better, and I definitely agreed. Uh, and since this bumper had to come off and be repaired anyway, because it was hit in the front here and it had some damage here in the nose. Actually, these two tabs were missing and Ted was able to graft these tabs out of plastic uh, on this bumper and salvage a really nice and expensive bumper, which is awesome. Uh, but something else that I found to be so interesting is the way uh, that he filled this so that it looks totally factory like a Eurospec bumper. He basically cut out templates from an old junk bumper uh, and then grafted them onto our bumper and you can't even tell that any work was done at all. And look at the workmanship, even on the inside. This is something no one is ever gonna see. It could have been caked up with, a, I think they use a, some sort of fiberglass type of filler 
but they didn't. It looks awesome. So really excited about this. This is gonna look so much cleaner in the front end. And so with that, the C63 is ready for paint. It's been fully prepped and taped off and these guys are gonna end up painting about 60% of this car to make it look right. Basically, every panel that was touched by the previous body shop is getting redone correctly. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a cold pop or a beer, whatever and watch them work their magic. And then at the end, I'll show you the final product and we'll go over cost, which at this point, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Well guys, the C63 is looking awesome already. It has been a real cool experience being in the paint booth uh, with Lupe, who has 36 years of experience painting cars. Uh, and it really shows, even before we've done the clear coat, I can tell this is gonna be an awesome, awesome paint job. Just take a look at this. And now there's no more orange gaudy marker. I love that. Uh, so what he's done so far is one coat of the sealer, then three coats of color, and now he's gonna finish it off with two coats of the clear coat, one right after another. It doesn't have to bake in between. So right now uh, he has baked all of these panels and the car at about 150 degrees for about 15 minutes. So it's actually still really, really hot in here uh, and it's ready for the clear coat. So after that, uh, he will bake it for another 45 minutes at 150 degrees, then let it cool for about three, four hours and then everything gets wet sanded and buffed right before final assembly.
I've been in the paint booth with Lupe all morning and watching him do his thing has been a complete blast. And now he's on his final layer of clear coat on the C63. Uh, and even from here, this thing is just looking mean. And here she is, my 2009 C63 AMG, fresh out of the body shop and looking amazing. Guys, I am ecstatic how this car turned out. This is exactly what I had in mind. And if you remember the reveal video just from a few weeks ago, this car had a few questionable, at best, cosmetic modifications that are all gone now. And it has what I believe to be some very tasteful cosmetic modifications right now in that we kept the trunk lid spoiler right there. And of course, we did the modification to the front bumper. And I have brand new wheels and brand new Michelin tires that are being mounted right now. So that reveal is coming soon as well. But I do like these wheels uh, from the factory, but this thing is just gonna look amazing, uh, even better than it does right now once we get our new wheels uh, but yeah I think my favorite part so far in the front end is the deletion of this guy right here just take a look at this in relation to the entire bumper it's massive and just nasty looking and that is gone and you'd never be able to tell anything was done and just take a look uh, at the way they were able to correct the body lines this was way way off before uh, this headlight here on the right hand side was replaced I found a, an OEM used one on eBay for 300 bucks uh, so that has been replaced I still need to get a grill there's a little crack down here uh, so I'll replace the grill for 150 bucks or whatever uh, and then they replaced the tabs on this headlight messed around with fitment quite a bit and they have the panel gaps uh, up front looking really really nicely uh, these cars aren't perfect right out of the box either but this looks fantastic definitely good enough for what i'm doing with this car uh, and if you notice on the hood we had a crack somewhere in this area i don't even know where it is anymore you'd never be able to tell anything was done there either and i cannot say enough about the paintwork uh, that they do at Mancuso is my E55 turned out perfect and so did this. So Lupe's 36 years of experience painting really, really shows and Ted fixed up all the imperfections on the body very well. So we had a crack, if you remember right in here, that is totally gone. Then he was able to manipulate uh, the metal here for the tail light nicely so that this isn't sunken in anymore and it fits very close to factory. This gap was like this big before. Uh, that fits a lot nicer as well. The rear bumper, as you know, has been sprayed. The paint is perfect perfect uh, and then there are parts of the car that I still need to mess around with so like these doors were in good shape so they didn't paint those the roof uh, the other front left door hasn't been painted so I have some paint correction work uh, to do to make this really perfect but what's awesome is that the paint match is just dead on it is spot on and perfect so this car is gonna look very very factory once I'm done with the correction okay so how much did all of this cost and what do I have into my 69,000 mile 2000 2009 C63 AMG with a rebuilt title. Everything you guys saw at the body shop was $4,000 and I've put another $500 into normal repairs like a power steering pump, an AC line, and a few other items that I covered in previous episodes. And since I paid $8,500 for the car, we're at a grand total of $13,000. Now a couple things to take into consideration. A clean title example of the same car in Chicago where I live sells in the mid to low 20s. So going this route, I've saved, let's just say $8,000 to be safe. After the repairs in my garage, the car is completely sorted mechanically, and now it looks like a million bucks. Now, I fully understand the stigma behind a branded title car, and if you're like most, you probably just stay away, but for me personally, this works out really well. Now, I will say this, these types of cars are not one size fits all. There's a lot to consider. For example, if you bought this car and you didn't do any of your own mechanics, 
mechanical work and it needed four to five thousand dollars in engine work like the previous owner thought it did, this would not be a wise decision for you. At that point, you're much better off just buying a car with a clean title that is also sorted. I decided to fix up the paint and body work after figuring out that the engine was in great shape and the rest of the car functioned properly. This would have never been my first step in the repair process of this car and I made sure that I had a good foundation first and that the numbers made sense. It's usually best to calculate everything off a worst case scenario. When I bought this car, I said if I had to put a lot of money into the mechanics, then I'm leaving the paint and body work alone and it's just going to be a track weapon. If I can sort it out mechanically for cheap, then I'll do a mini restoration and that's just the way it all went down. Up next for the C63 are some really sweet wheels and tires from a company called Fitment Industries. They actually have a YouTube channel as well. I'm going to tell you all about that in the next video. I really love these wheels and I cannot wait for you to see the completed car and the new exhaust including the factory tailpipes. This is all coming out very soon so stay tuned and if you've been watching my videos for a while and you like what you see consider hitting that subscribe button. As always don't forget to give this video a like and a comment, share the video with friends and most importantly have a fantastic day. I'll catch all of you in the next video.